First things first, I just wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, and that is what we are going to need is a Christmas miracle for me to ever play this deck again. If you will uh, look at the title, it says I hate myself, and that's not an accident. I wanted to uh, play Dritzt, well I didn't want to, but um, I haven't had him on the channel in a very long time. Uh, some of my subs are probably Dritz players, and so um, I didn't want to continue to have you know just an extreme underrepresentation of the Spell Slinger, even though I hate his guts. So that being said, I'm just going to get into the deck before I throw up. So we have um, Woodland uh, Hermitage. Starting on turn six, you have a chance to draw a creature from your deck instead of getting a Mana Gem because you know why why struggle to find legendaries and good creatures when your land could just give them to you. Uh, shields up to protect your legendaries that you know you have so few of and then we have untested rookie the first time the survives a fight he gets plus two plus two you're gonna make sure that happens with shields up and with giant growth a lot of the time and he just becomes an obnoxious one drop not that this deck is obnoxious uh, but you have a one drop three one legendary creature because you know, they needed that. It has to have ward too, so it's guaranteed to get an attack off pretty much. At the end of your turn, if four more creatures enter the graveyard this turn, summon Malice from your graveyard. So, you know, reoccurring legendaries are pretty good in a deck that you have so few legendaries in. Uh, one drop, zero one, Birds of Paradise flying debut, get a fragile mana gem. So while this might look a little silly, it's actually very powerful because if you have the fragile mana gem and you play the bird, your second turn that you have, you can summon uh, Inferno, you can summon Zozu or Tajik, which all have uh, haste, which is you know great whenever you're trying to make sure the cat comes out as many times as possible. Um, for those that aren't aware, when you attack with legendary creature, this cat comes out and he gets plus two, uh, excuse me, plus one, plus zero permanently, and he doesn't trigger traps, and so he gets bigger every time you swing with legendary. So on turn two, bringing out a legendary with haste is pretty crazy, and if you manage not to find one of those, then you can drop this guy on your second turn for after Birds of Paradise which is uh, pretty crazy. So Devoted Steed just makes your annoying things more annoying, um, makes it to where when you swing with legendary creatures, uh, maybe your opponent won't be able to get them off the board by trading anymore. So very strong. Colonial Tusker is one of my favorite cards in the game. I'm sorry I have to put you in this deck. True Drop 4-3, just a stat stick. Uh, Giant Growth before friendly creature fights, give it plus three, plus two, you know, because making legendary creatures even stronger is pretty fun, sort of, I guess if you're into that sort of thing. Um, Two drop spell, grudge mats, give a friendly creature plus one plus one, then choose the name of creature they fight, so you can get rid of annoying blocker. You can get rid of something that could maybe uh, end up trading with your legendary creature to keep your legendary creatures alive longer. Since we have so few legendaries, uh, we have to run Dritz's Herald, two drop, three, two, debut. A friendly creature becomes legendary because, you know, six and 30 cards just isn't enough. We need more ways of finding legendary creatures. Watch Wolf, two drop, three, four, dumbest two drop in the game, super overpowered. Uh, Stoneforge Mystic, 3-drop, 2-3. Debut, draft a Mystic Weapon, add it to your hand. So this will make your legendary creatures stronger and more resilient. I think you're starting to see the picture. Uh, Hero's Call, you draft a legendary creature and add it to your hand. Reduce its cost by 2. Because we have so few legendary creatures, um, we really need to uh, find ways of getting more legendary creatures. Because we just don't have enough. Uh, Inferno, 4-drop. 2-2 two, two, Flying Haste, summon a random artifact with cost equal to Inferno's power instead of cost of 2. You know, because we're real, you know, the cards in this deck aren't very powerful, so we need to, um, you know, just get free artifacts and get some free advantage because this deck is just not that powerful. So we need stuff to, you know, just be that strong. Uh, Zozu, you know, there's not that many legendary hasters, so we got to make sure that we put them all in here. Uh, attack gets plus 1, plus 0 for each of your opponent's mana gems, so... You know, we need these these big attackers because the rest of the deck just won't cut it. So we really need something like Zozu here. Uh, Tajik, Legion's Edge, 4 drop, 5, 3, Haste. Prevent all damage, any spells and traps would deal to friendly creatures until your next turn. Because we just need more protection because we just don't have enough between shields up and giant growth and uh, buffs from Stoneforge Mystic. You know, we need more inherent protection because the deck just isn't good enough already. We need it to be even better than how it is right now. I don't know how to say this guy's name, uh, the big guy with the eye, 4 drop, 1 for um, another legendary creature with ward because there isn't enough protection for them already. You know, it, we need legendary creatures to have ward. Uh, flying, attack, fire, array, then switch to a new one. So, you know, the effects of cards in this deck aren't very good. So, um, you know, we have to have really powerful cards like this to make up for all the bad cards we run, right? Um, so, telekinetic ray, 
add a random blue or red card to your hand and deal three damage to your opponent because you know we're really short on card advantage and um you know so we just we just need even better effects here paralyzing ray return the strongest enemy creature to hand you know so we could potentially just you know remove uh charm ray reduce the cost of a random card in your hand by two and raise the cost of a random card in your opponent's hand by two and uh the last ray steal one power from each enemy creature you know so uh, yeah, we just need uh, strong legendary creatures like this because the rest of the deck, you know, just sucks so badly. Um, we need more hasters because we need more hasters. Uh, four drop, four five with haste is just a big thick boy. They're gonna trade you multiple times, and um, you know, again, there's so few legendary creatures with haste that uh, you know I'm really glad that they added this one to the last set because uh, we're in short supply of it. Uh, five drop, five five uh, moonlight haste attack. Add a random creature with moonlight to your hand. You know, because we just there isn't a lot of card advantage, you know, so we need some more card advantage. There is enough card advantage between this land, this guy, this giving me random stuff, uh, Inferno giving me random stuff, uh, this giving me stuff, um, you know, there's, there's just not enough card advantage, so we need some more. So that's why we have the Outlander, because there's just not enough hasters and uh, card advantage in here. So, um, you know, I guess I'm going to hop on the ladder and... Um, you know, hope everything goes well because my deck isn't totally overpowered or anything like that. So, Ugh. we matched up very quickly. It's of course against a Johnny, which is um, this constantly happened to me before in that season that I played Dritz. And um, man, the, the matchmaking just seems more and more sus to me all the time because um, I I don't know if the last time. I think I've seen like three, four Johnnies this whole season, and as soon as I play the same colors, I get matched up. So. Um, it's also a very hard matchup, so we might not actually be able to win this one despite Dritz being, you know, not broken at all. Um, I'm gonna keep the shields up. Hoping to draw a good two drop I can, like, trade with. Or my deck can just hose me. Okay. Well, this is something I really wish I was going first. Most of the time I don't wish that, but, um, maybe I can keep the Fragile Mana Gem and drop this on three. That would be pretty strong. Hopefully Refreshment Stand gives me something better than it gives them. That's what I hope every time, right? Uh, really don't like Refreshment Stand as a land at all. Okay, that's really scary for me. Um, I get really worried when decks start... What is this? To the spider queen. What? Oh, that's the, that's the multicolor thing they got. Of course it is. Of course it is. Um, so we're going to play our thing, and then we're going to play our shields up in case they want to do anything cheeky. Of course, I have I have ward, so nothing should happen to me. I can't block anyway. So the only thing that would have affected me... Well, no, oh, is there even a fight effect that doesn't target? I don't think so. Okay, how do I want to do this? I could do this and Grudge Match. I actually don't hate that. This pretty much does the same thing though. Or do I just want to play another creature? I kind of just want to play another creature. Let's just let's just attack. See if they they might just take it anyway, fearing the traps that we do have that we're decide, choosing not to play because I want to curve out. I, I, I thought so. All right, let's target myself. And um, I feel shenanigans, so I'm actually going to hold the shields up and risk the mongrel not being here for the next turn. I feel shenanigans in my in my bones here. Excellent. Very odd shenanigans, I must add. This can't block. I really don't care about this. And I'd rather keep the Fragile Mana Gem for the best boy next turn. Do I even play the best boy? I think I do, right? I mean... If I attack, he might block with this. But I already have another legendary anyway. It's kind of tough to say. I think I need to apply the pressure. If I didn't already have two legendaries, I wouldn't do this. Come to me, my shadow. Uh, 
Makes sense. 3-3 three, three on the 2-2? Two, two. Yeah, that makes sense. Are you going to take 6? I would not be surprised if you just took the 6. But if Fledgling blocks, then I'm going to expect a grudge match or something. Okay. So that was a pretty decent turn. Next turn I have this into uh, shields up. So that's not too bad. I also have Tusker in a grudge match if I need to remove something, so... Oh, of course. That is at least his whole turn, however. And I can grudge match the flyer. Um, I can block this. Actually, I shouldn't have blocked. But I can shields up in a grudge match, so it's okay, I think. I actually want to get rid of this. Now for the super trick. Come to me, my shadow. I was really hoping they would expect the second one, but they blocked the, the, the cat, so this is fine with me. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. I'm keeping the shields up in case they have a, a grudge match of their own or blindside or... Oh, blindside just deals the damage, doesn't make them fight, so... But for a grudge match, then. Excellent. Naturally. I do have a Birds of Paradise that I can, you know, start blocking that thing, so that's okay. Um, My lance is yours. I think this is worth. Actually, it's probably not because they're just gonna block. This is gonna block one of these. So, I don't know, is shields up worth? Like, it might be. Probably not. Like, I'd rather just develop this after. So, let's just attack. And develop a 3 4. Yeah. Nothing to see here. Everything's fine. Yeah, everything's fine. I. Yeah. No problem. Nothing to, nothing to see here. Just a... I mean, this deck's no good. Very, very fast um, match times, man. Like, less than a second. Which is really surprising. Maybe everyone's just chilling at home. You think people will be, like, more on vacation doing family stuff, but... You know, us, us card players were dedicated, you know, so I understand. Gotta, gotta play the card game. Maybe everyone's stressed out about the holidays and they need to unwind with some good card game action. That's probably what it is. I'm just gonna hope to get Tusker and Watch Wolf and laugh. Well, this is like the opposite of what I want for Chandra, so please give me the good curve. Thank you. Eh. Eh. Okay, so I have Birds of Paradise into this thing. Well, Hopefully I draw something the better. Take their mm. They're going to have the one drop. Yeah. I already know. How do I know these things? This is a very, very slow... Hand. No Tusker, no Watch Wolf. This can probably get more value. I will block with it next turn, probably if uh, better value doesn't present itself because of Flame Shot. That's kind of scary. This dies to um, 
grudge match, which I think they have. So, I'm actually going to change things up a little bit. I'm going to actually hold up my giant growth. And I might be able to get two things off the board between my bird and my herald. Well, I guess I'm just taking six because um, I'm not blocking. Yeah, plus two defense, so yeah, I can block here, keep my thing. I'm not gonna let this um, have the potential to spiral. I'm taking eight, so this is not good. Really, really bad hand to draw. Like, it's kind of awkward, right? I doubt I can stabilize, especially if they have... Um, especially if they have a lot of axe. How does it work if... It already has armor. I guess I'm going to find out. I suspect it's just going to get shocked, though. Okay, well, nothing I can do about this. This is honestly just silly. This is going to trample over me anyway, so... Yeah, and that land is going to kill me. So there's no way they don't have a shock or something. Um, I used to prey on uh, Drift with Chandra, actually. And uh, they're just going to burn me or the land's going to go up and I'm going to die that way. Which is fine. I really needed Watch Wolf. Yeah. I really needed Watch Wolf or Tusker at the beginning. Or uh, Uncontested Rookie. So just got unlucky with a really, really bad draw there. Because we actually have a lot of early curve that we did not see. All right, cool. I was hoping to match up with him again because I think I can actually win this. I just have to not draw that terribly. Like I can't draw heroes calls that many traps and like a four drop legendary. That's rumble, champ. I need the actual early curve. That'd be nice. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly the hand. This is the hand. I, even like half this last turn, I would have been okay. So they're in a lot more trouble this time. Like this into this is very hard well, to answer let events take for any deck. Course. Hmm. <laughs> well, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Run! I might actually play uh, Tusker because I don't want this to just get um, shot down. And if they have the one that uh, buffs the attack, I still want this one. So, yeah, I think I'm going to just go Tusker. Because if I'm, if I'm going to trade, it's going to loose all the same stuff. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now I can go on the offensive. If they take it, that's going to be very telling. That's fine. Okay, I think they have a flame shot now. So I'm going to play this this turn, and then I'm going to um, either a trade here, or I'm going to steed on this, so that way they don't uh, get the flame shot value. But if they if they attack, though, the easiest thing would just be to trade into the 3-2. But they have flame shot again. Yeah. They want, they're hoping I block here. Um, so they can get the maximum flame shot value, and I'm just not going to give it to them. Burn with me. Yep, that's fine. I can take this turn to Stoneforge um, because they still don't have good flame shot value. 
Let's gear up. And it gives me more options. Oh, um, I'll take the staff, please. Yeah, we can ignore this now. Yep, a shock. Um, we're gonna take it. Don't want to, but um, it's the only play that makes any kind of sense. And then we're gonna Zozu and uh, go on the offensive. I almost want to play this now and just have another. Um, actually, I'm going to. I'm gonna do that. It's another thing that um, I can giant growth in the future as well and get another attacker. So now we can get this this cooking. Also, um, it's another creature I can have out to actually buff with the mystic weapon. So I think that is the right play, though it may look very strange. And I think this is, you know, a matchup that's super winnable. Just last game was not the right hand. And I'm glad I get to showcase this this time so it doesn't just sound like cope, right? I don't just say stuff like that. Exactly. They know they lost. I'm glad I got the revenge. Alright guys, that is all the dritz I can stomach. I ended at a healthy 50. Um, I think I could have went 3-0, but um, that first Chandra game didn't go well. Second one went exactly how it should go. Um, so I'm glad I got to showcase that. Because um, sometimes when I lose, if I'm giving an explanation, I don't want to sound like I'm just... Um, uh, Johnning, you know, but uh, so I'm glad I got that rematch. I immediately queued back in to try and get it um, Again, I wanted to thank you guys for all your support um, Channel has been growing so much in Aug since August and I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys have a good holiday uh, Join the discord. Um, there's a link for it in the description if you have any questions about the game you want to get better if any of you uh, want to do the coaching um, You know, there's there's it's completely free. It's not like a serious deal um, all I want to do is get someone to call me on discord I screenshot um, they, they, or they excuse me they screen share with me and um, I overlay my OBS on top of that and I would really like to help out somebody that's stuck in a certain rank maybe you're trying to get mythic maybe you're trying to get diamond platinum whatever it is and um, I'd love to help you out I'd love to make a video about it um, I really like coaching like I said before I've coached kids in the past um, for sports and I find it very rewarding and um, yeah, I'd just really like to help somebody out. If anyone's interested in doing that and being part of the channel and being in a video, um, just um, leave it in the comments or private message me on Discord would probably be the best way of going about it. But um, again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow.